Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your CFL week number 10 previews and predictions. Hope you're having yourself a good start to your day. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner. Today's podcast is brought to you by the World Series of Handicapping Pro Football Contest. That's right. If you like pro football and you want to join the World Series of Handicapping Contest, which is going to start in the first week in the NFL, all you got to do is go to worldseriesofhandicapping.com. It's free to enter, free to play. And all you got to do is make seven picks each and every week, sides your totals. And if you are the person with the most units at the end of the year, you will win the Baron Championship ring, $500 in cash, courtesy of sportshub.com. All right, CFL week number 10. And uh, Ottawa Red Blacks had a bye last week and uh, really helped their uh, their strength, the schedule, power rating. When I look at the power rating this, um, for week number 10, Montreal Alouette, your number one team at 7-1, and one, a power rating of 66 the Ottawa Red Blacks, 5-2, a power rating of 54. But keep in mind, their strength to schedule has been one of the um, easiest for them at 36.3%. That's the record of their opponents they faced this year. Coming in in number three is the uh, Calgary Stampeders at 4-4. Four four. They're at a power rating of 52. And then you got a couple teams here at 51 with Saskatchewan. Who's taking on Ottawa this Thursday night in the uh, TD Place in Ottawa? It's going to be a great football game. And then you got Toronto at 51 as well. And then from there... We're going to go to the um, Winnipeg Blue Bombers at 48. And then we uh, finish it off with the Hamilton Tiger Cats at uh, 41. And the Edmonton Elks, who uh, finally got off the schneid with their first win of the year and uh, 37. So we'll see what happens this week. That's your power ratings brought to you by the Rain Report. Again, you can get the Rain Report each and every day right here at ATSStats.com. All right, let's get to your matchup between the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Ottawa Red Blacks. Now, the Red Blacks, a one-point home favorite in this role against Saskatchewan, who was coming off a, a tough loss last week to the Edmonton Elks. 42-31 was the final. Total in this game is at 48.5, and, and we do have the Ottawa Red Blacks winning by one, 27-26. The over-under landing on 53.09, so we do like this game to go over the total. Looking at the Red Blacks' last game, a 33-6 win over Calgary, while last Sunday, Edmonton beat the Saskatchewan Rough Riders at home at Mosaic, 42-31. And when uh, Saskatchewan travels to Ottawa, um, they are 7-6 straight up, but only 6-7 against the number, 7-6 when it comes to the over-under. If you like systems, I got a couple of trends for you in this game. If you like the under in the game between Saskatchewan and Ottawa, anytime the Green Riders are a pick in the plus three away underdog versus a non-division opponent, the last 10 years, the under has cashed in 9 out of 10 tickets, and you might want to consider the under this Thursday night in Ottawa between the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Ottawa Red Blacks. All right, big win last week for the Calgary Stampeders. This is a back-to-back -back game situation, and uh, 27-23 was the final. And today, the or uh, Friday night, I believe this is a Friday night game, the Argonauts, a one-point favorite, 49.5 is the total, and we do have the uh, Argos winning by uh, three points here against Calgary. 25.6 to 22.7, the over-under at 48.3. Looking at the last five games for both these teams, Calgary 2-3 and three straight up, but 4-1 and one against the point spread, 3-2 and two to the over, while the Argonauts are 2-3 and three straight up and against the number, and three of their last five games have gone over the total, and we're going to give the Argos a 57.6% chance of winning compared to 34.7 for the Calgary Stampeders. And if you like um, if you like systems, a system is when any CFL teams in a certain situation compared to a team trend, like Toronto's in this trend right here. Anytime you got a CFL road team like Calgary in the month of August, and it's during week 8 to 12, and they're coming off a home win as a favorite, and they're coming off back-to-back -back straight up home wins, which uh, pertains to the Calgary Stampeders. That team is 11-2 since 1996. So that tells us uh, Calgary could be the play this weekend. All right, let's go to game number three of the CFL, week number 10. You got another back-to-back uh, -back game situation. And uh, this time, the Montreal Alouettes went to Tim Hortons Field and got the win. 33-16 was the final. And uh, this, um, I believe it's Saturday, August 10th, you got the Alouettes, a 7.5 point home a favorite, 15.5 is the total. And we do have the Alouettes winning by 9. 28-19, the over-under at 47.9. So we do have this game staying under the total. Montreal, 4-1 and one straight up in their last 10 games, 3-2 and two against the point spread, and 2-3 um, and three to the under. While the Hamilton Tirecast, they are 2-3 and three all, the way, all across the board, straight up, ATS, and to the under. And uh, we're going to give Montreal an 81% chance of winning, but only 35 against the point spread. 
And when you look at Montreal, last 10 games against teams with losing records at home, they're 7-3 and three straight up, 5-4-1 and one to the um, point spread, but 3-7 and seven to the under. And when you look at the Hamilton Tire Cats, anytime they're a road team coming off a loss the last four years, the under has cashed 11 out of 14 tickets. Maybe you want to look at the under this Saturday between Hamilton and Montreal. And your final Week 10 game, uh, check the um, status of Vernon Adams Jr. Don't, not sure he's going to play. You've got 6.5 point road favorite for the BC Lions. Edmonton, um, 51 and a half is the total. I got BC winning this game 28.5 to 23.6. The old runner landing on 52.1. So we do have this game going over the total. Edmonton, 1 and 4 straight up, last 10. 2 and 3 against point spread, 3 and 2 to the over. While the BC Lions are 3 and 2 straight up, 2 and 3 to the under. And uh, three of their last five games have also gone under the total. And they're coming off a. Uh, a blanking. In fact, Winnipeg beat them 25 nothing at home uh, last Friday night. And uh, we'll see how the uh, BC Lions bounce back. And uh, we'll see how they do without their quarterback. And if you like the under in this game, anytime the BC Lions are picking the plus three away favorite, or sorry, minus three away favorite after a conference game, um, they are 16 3 and 1 to the under. But the line in this game, I believe, is six and a half. It could have changed, though. Check the uh, latest line. And for the Edmonton Elks, anytime they are a picking to minus three home underdog, um, last 10 years, the over is 10 and three to the over. So a couple of stats and trends if you um, if you enjoy those things. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. That is your uh, CFL report for week number 10. And if you go to the website, atsstats.com, and if you want other uh, stats and trends, go to the old 80% club stats, go to CFL, and uh, you can get more stats and trends right here at atsstats.com. And uh, hopefully you guys have a good winning week, uh, winning uh, record this weekend with your CFL football picks and uh, enjoy the game. It's going to be a good one, especially the one with Saskatchewan in Ottawa. And I'm looking forward to that. In the meantime, shop for value, play those percentages. I'll see you back shortly with another Ram Report.